تجربے خدا میں رزوی ہو الحمد للہ وی آ آفیشلی ان محرم فورٹین ہنڈریڈ اینڈ فورٹی تھری ہجری وی ہیو آلسو ریسیو دی پراپر شہادت شرعی سو الحمد للہ دی شب عاشورا ول فال آن دا ایٹینتھ وچ از آن آئی تھنک ویٹنس ڈے نائٹ ایف آئی ایم ناٹ مسٹیکن آن دا ڈے ویٹنس ڈے نائٹ دا ایٹینتھ اینڈ دا بگ ڈے ول فال آن دا تھرس ڈے آن دا نائنٹینتھ اینڈ ٹرائی ٹو کیپ روزا ایف اٹ از ود ان یور کیپیسٹی آن دا نائنتھ اینڈ آن دا tenth of uh, Muharram it is very blessed before the fast of Ramadan the fast of Ashura was farz on the Muslims so it is a very very blessed fast Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa never missed it it's one fast but because the Yahud used to keep one Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa commanded the keeping of two that is better to keep two so you keep try to keep two fast okay that's food for thought Alhamdulillah we are in the month of Muharram we all know what happens in Muharram اسلام زندہ ہوتا ہے ہر کربلا کے بعد اسلام از ریوائوڈ دا دین از ریفریشنڈ وین وی سی دا دین از ریفریشنڈ اٹ مینز آو ایمان از ریفریشنڈ تازگی پیدا ہو جاتی ہے اینڈ ڈیفیکلٹ ٹائم وی گوئنگ مور دین ون اینڈ ہاف ایئر ناؤ ان پینڈیمک لک ایٹ ہاؤ مینی پیپل آر ڈائنگ اراؤنڈ اس ہاؤ مینی پیپل آر پاسنگ اوے یس تری ایون آور یونس بھائی آور بابا ویری ویل نون پرسن وے ویری گڈ آو پرسن پاسٹ اوے اللہ تعالیٰ ان کی مغفرت فرمائے آل دا ادرس نے اہل سن دا آئی ڈونٹ نو سو مینی پیپل آر پاسنگ اوے آئی ڈونٹ نو ہوز نیمس میں اللہ میک آل دی مغفرت امنگ اہل سننا آل دوز دیر ایل ود کووڈ ود اینی ادر ایلنس اللہ کی دم شفائی کامل سے دا آجل دوز دیر ان ایل اللہ کیپ دم محفوظ اللہ کیپ دم محفوظ فور دا سیک آف اہل سننا والجماع اینڈ فور دا سیک آف دی فیملیز اللہ تعالیٰ کیپ اس آل ان ہیز ہیوز و امان بٹ وٹ ایور از ہیپننگ آلویز ریممبر نتھنگ ہیپنس ود دا ول آف اللہ ٹیک آل دا پرکاشنس بٹ آفٹر دیٹ اف اسٹل سم تھنگ ہیپنس یو اسٹل گیٹ سیک پرسن اسٹل لیوز دنیا حکم الہی مشیت الہی بٹ وٹ ایور ڈیفیکلٹی وی آر گوئنگ تھرو وٹ ایور تکلیف وی آر گوئنگ تھرو ایون فار دس ہول یو ون اینڈ ون اینڈ ہاف ایئر اٹ از نتھنگ کمپیئر ٹو دا ٹیسٹ دیٹ دا سیونٹی ٹو وینٹ تھرو آن دا پلینس آف کربلا اٹس نتھنگ اٹس نتھنگ کمپیئر ٹو وٹ دا سیونٹی ٹو وینٹ تھرو آن دا پلینس آف کربلا وین ان دا ہینڈز آف امام حسین رضی اللہ عنہ حضرت علی اصغر بریت ریڈ از لاسٹ بریت وین دے وی مارٹڈ بائی دوز ہو ریڈ کلیم اللہ الہ اللہ محمد الرسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دے فوگاٹ وی لک ایٹ آل آور ہارڈ شپس اینڈ وی کرائی اینڈ وی کمپلین اینڈ وی لیمنٹ بٹ اٹس نتھنگ ان ڈیڈ از ڈیفیکلٹ ایف وی لوز آور فیملی وی لوز آور چلڈرن وی لیو لوز آور پیرنٹس through a to a pandemic or by the hukum of Allah all is by the hukum of Allah whether a person dies in anything but this is a test but it is not compared to the test that that 72 went through bahatr the hazaron mein wo taslim mein taslim aur raza hai in thousands they were 72 ha but they made sabr and why they made sabr because they knew wallahu yuhibbus sabirin allah loves those who make sabr Allah loves the patient and in Allah ma sabirin Allah is with those who are patient indeed Allah is with the patient but long discussion karbala discussion can happen in 10 minutes but in reality in reality this whole discussion this whole discussion can be commenced and completed in a sentence in one statement that what and why did imam husain do this Why did Imam Hussain make such a big qurbani? Why did he do this? He made this qurbani so that you and I can get deen in its most pure form. That's why he made this qurbani. He made this qurbani. Every tree is grown and nurtured through water. This tree of Islam is nurtured through the blood of the shahada. This great tree of Islam is to the khun of the shahada. They lick, they gave their, their lives, they sacrificed their lives, they let their blood flow, but they gave strength to this deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He gave strength to this beautiful tree, and this tree today, we are eating the fruits. We are eating the sweet fruits of deen. We are eating these fruits of iman to the barakat of those 
شہدا تو در قربانی دے گے حضرت سیدنا امام حسین رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ اللہ اکبر وٹ شہادت وٹ شہادت کہ شمشیر بکف قاتل ہے کھڑا اور کوئی رہے سجدے میں پڑا سمبڈی اسٹینڈنگ وہ سوڈ اوور یور ہیڈ ٹوڈے سمبڈی اسٹینڈ وہ گن اور سوڈ اوور یو وٹ ہیپنس پہلے جان بچاؤ یہاں شمشیر بکف قاتل ہے کھڑا وہ سوڈ ان ہینڈ لاسٹ مومنٹس شمشیر بکف قاتل ہے کرا اور کوئی رہے سجدے میں پڑا پر وٹ واز ہی ڈوئنگ ان دیٹ اسٹیج واز ان پلیڈنگ فار ہز لائف ہی وینٹ ان سجدہ شمشیر بکف قاتل ہے کرا اور کوئی رہے سجدے میں پڑا کہتی ہے زمین کرب و بلا عشان کا سجدہ کھیل نہیں دا لینڈ آف کربلا اناؤنسز دیٹ دس کائنڈ آف سجدہ از ناٹ اے جوک وٹ سجدہ از دس نہ مسجد میں نہ بیت اللہ کی دیواروں کے سائے میں نہ مسجد میں نہ بیت اللہ کی دیواروں کے سائے میں نماز عشق ادا ہوتی ہے تلواروں کے سائے میں دس واز دیٹ نماز آف لو وچ واز بینگ پرفارمڈ ناٹ ان دا شیڈز آف والز اینڈ بلڈنگز اٹ واز بینگ پرفارم ان شیڈ آف سوڈز ہاؤ ڈڈ دے گیٹ دس مقام ہو ٹرین دیم فار دا صبر ہو ٹرین دیم امام حسین دا گریٹسٹ گرینڈ سن ان دا یونیورس دیر از نو نواسا لائک دا نواسا رسول صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم There's no grandson like the grandson of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Allahu Akbar. How did he manage to give such a big qurbani? How did he effort effortlessly without fear and favor? How did he give such a qurbani? How was he trained for this? Because this is that Hussain جس کی گردن پہ رسول پاک بوسا دیا کرتے تھے دا بلا نبی از ٹو کس دیٹ مبارک نیک ڈو یو نو وائی بیکاز آؤ نبی ہیز علم غیب بیکاز آؤ نبی ہیز علم غیب آؤ نبی نیو لیٹ می کس دس گردن بیکاز دس از دا گردن دیٹ از گو بی سیکریج فائز فار مائی دین ون ڈے دس نیک از گوئن ٹو بی کٹ فار دا سیک آف اللہ دین تو نبی اس گردن کو بوسا دیا کرتے تھے This is that grandson of Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam that when the Nabi went into sajda and he got onto the back of Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam as a baby as a child Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to not move from that position and continue till he was there taaki mere husain gir na jaye that Nabi who did not want his grandson to fall off his back those who read the kalima dropped him off a horse and made him shaheed tell me today people say wo bhi kalma padte hum bhi kalma padte Wahhabis, Diobandis, Rafzis, they all read Kalima. They to do, why are you all making jhagra? So those on the other side with Imam Hussain, they are not reading Kalima. Kya wo Kalima nahi pad rahe te? Kya wo khudwa mein unki walid ka naam nahi le rahe te, Ali Murtada ka? We are not giving the same azan. We are not performing the same jama'at. But did you ever hear, Huzur Sayyidi Muhaddi Sikabiri says it beautifully. Did you ever hear, you, how many years you listening to the history of Karbala? How many years? Are we listening to the history of Karbala? I want to ask a question. In the history of Karbala, did you ever... I'm listening from the time I'm a kid. And I'm sure my... Those who are listening to the whole world are listening since you were children. Any time did you hear from that Bahattar, from that 72, one went and read namaz on the other side. I'm asking a question. And remember this, at that stage, was not a jagra of Iman and Kufar. At that time, it wasn't a jagra of Iman and Kufar. It was about Fisk. At that time, because Yazid was transgressing the rules. Because he was transgressing the Sharia, Imam Hussain stood out against him. Now I want to ask, at that time, did anybody from this side go and read namaz on that side? Which side was the bigger jamaat? 72 was this side. And thousands were on that side. And thousands were on that side. Were the 72 the bigger jamaat or were the thousands the bigger the jamaat? The 72. But not one, not even a child. Not even a child from the 72 went and read one namaz that side. Why? Why? But today everybody says, go with the big jamaat. Go with the big jamaat. Jamaat is not big where the musallis are big. Jamaat is big where the imam is Hussain. Jamaat is big with the Imam is Hussain. Imam Hussain taught on that day on the plains of Karbala. Don't look at the size of the Jamaat. Look at who's the Imam. 
The differentiation and the distinction was not because of their size, it was because who was leading the jamaat. If one person, if one person is on haq, and everybody else is on batil, that one is the proper jamaat. That personality by himself is sawad azam He is the great jamaat. Not, Huzur Muhaddis Kabir always says, it's not sawad aksar It's not the jamaat as in, in numbers. Hey, it is sawad azam the fadilat wali jamaat. The azim jamaat. And this Imam Hussain got this maqam radiallahu because he is that grandson. Allahu Akbar, who was nurtured in the lap of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Do you know who his, his grandfather is? Who is the grandfather of Allahu Akbar sallallahu alayhi wa sallam of Imam Hussain radiallahu Regarding him whom Imam Ahl Sunnat, Allah Hadrat Khadimul Barakat radiallahu ta'ala and says, Me to Malik hi kahunga. Keho Malik ke Habib. Me to Malik, I would say that he is the master for he is the beloved of Allah. Main to Malik hi kahunga ke ho Malik ke Habib yani mahboob mohib mein nahi mera tera aur asma khan zami khan zamana mehma sahib khana lakab kiska hai tera tera the entire world eats from the from the from the dastarkhan of rasul pak sallallahu alaihi wasallam the entire world eats from the dastarkhan from the eating mat of rasul pak sallallahu alaihi wasallam this entire dunya is the dastarkhan and we are all whether it's the sky whether it is the earth all who are getting any benefit are getting it through the sadqa of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam asma khan zami khan zamana mehma sahib khana lakab kiska hai tera Tera, but on the day of Karbala, the people who read his kalima deprived his ummah, and not his ummah, but his, just his ummah, but one of the greatest personalities in his ummah, his grandson and his aulad of water and one drop of water on that day. Wow. If there, our Nabi, Allahu Akbar, sahib khana lakab kiska hai, tera, tera, the universal host from the court of Allah appointed in this dunya is Muhammad Rasulullah <laughs> sallallahu alayhi wa sallam if Huzur wanted and if Huzur wanted and if Imam Hussein wanted by the sadqa of Rasul Pak sallallahu alayhi wa sallam leave one drop the entire Nahra Farat would have left his place and came to his feet <laughs> the entire Nahra Farat would have left his place and came to his feet Imam Hussein ko pani nahi peena tha dunya mein ja ke abe kosar Mustafa ke haato se peena tha it was not about him drinking the water of this dunya he wanted to go and drink the drink of Jannah from the hands of Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa and from the nazr karam of his beloved father Mawla Ali and his mother Sayyidatuna Fatima al-Zahra radiallahu ta'ala anhuma. So this Imam Hussain is that grandson who was nurtured at the feet of the greatest of Allah's creation, Sayyidina Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, jiski sar pe Mawla Ali radiallahu anhu haat rakha karte te, jisko sine se Fatima al-Zahra lagaya karte te. This Hussain, who when Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq used to look, he used to look with pride. When Umar Farooq used to look, he used to look with honor. When Uthman Ghani used to look, he used to look with love. When Ali Murtaza used to look, they, they all looked at him. They didn't just look at him as the son of Ali radiallahu anhu, as the son of Fatima Zahra radiallahu anhu. They looked at him as the prince of Jannatul Firdaus. As the prince of Jannatul Firdaus. This is the grandson of our Nabi. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is the greatest grandson in the Alam. This is the greatest grandson in the universe. And if you want to follow on his Qadam, then idhar wale udar na jaye. Idhar wale udar na jaye. Kyunke udar wale joh hai idhar walo ki barabar nahi ho sakte. Udhar wale idhar wale ki barabar nahi ho sakte. Those on this side should not cross the fence and go that side. You remain Husseini till you breathe your last breath. Because that is what Imam Hussain taught on Maidan Karbala. Ki what? He gave his head, but he didn't give his hand in the hand of Yazid. And this is the tariqah of Ahl Sunnat wal Jama'at. This is Maslake Allah Hazrat. This is what Allah Hazrat taught. This is what Ghose Pak taught. This is what Sarkari Khajai Pak taught. This is what Makhdoom Samna taught. This is what all the beloveds taught. Allah keep us firm on Ahl Sunnat wal Jama'at. Yeah, this is a very emotional topic. Dil nahi chata ki khatam karo, bolte raho. But we have time constraints, and due to whatever is happening, we have time constraints because of the other uh, facilities that need to be used as well. Allah Ta'ala keep us firm on Ahl Sunnah Tul Jamaat. Allah Ta'ala keep us firm in Iman. Let us live, live this world with, live, live with Iman. And may Allah let us die with Iman. Again, special dua for all those that have passed away in Ahl Sunnah. Again, special dua for our Yunus Bhai. Allah Ta'ala 